Hey there lads, welcome to the first episode of Dining with the Roaches, where today we'll be recreating the Heavy Sandwich from Team Fortress 2, completely from scratch. That means by starting off by creating our own bread, so to do that we're gonna need 500 grams of bread flour, pour that into a bowl and then dump it into a bigger bowl. Remember to sift the flour before you put it in? I didn't because I'm a bad baker. Measure out 2 teaspoons of salt and add it to the mix, then measure out 7 grams of yeast and mix it all together. Once you're done with that, create a well in the center with your thumb. Then to that we're going to add 3 tablespoons of olive oil. Careful not to spill it when you're measuring out like me. And then we're defining the rules of nature itself by adding 300 milliliters of water. And we're going to mix the two things that famously don't. After a surprisingly short amount of mixing, you'll get a nice lump of dough that's a bit like a pizza base, but it's a little bit sticky as well. If the dough isn't clumping together, then just add a little bit more of water until it does. Then pull the dough out onto a floured work surface and start kneading for a few minutes so the dough stops sticking to your hands on the table. Just a side note, maybe flour your hands before you start, like, kneading it. But it doesn't matter anyways, because what we're going to do is we're going to get that dough, we're going to put it in a bowl, lightly covered with oil, cover over with a little bit of cling film, plastic wrap, and then put it in the fridge for roughly an hour. And when you return, you'll find that your dough has doubled in size. From then on, just put the newly expanded dough on some baking sheets and start knocking it back. Honest to God, the best thing to do here is to just beat it, slap it, just punch it if you need to, random crit it, and then just pull the dough back on it itself. What that does is it just pushes all the air out of the dough. After a while of doing this, I just got so bored of doing it, I just started like throwing the dough around like a baseball. Kinda makes me feel a little bit like the scout. Anyways, when you get bored of it, just drop it on the sheet and just leave it to expand again for a further hour. It will double in size again. It's honestly kinda crazy how much it's expanded, like, this is huge compared to what we started out with. I've never actually baked bread before, so this is kinda mad to look at. Anyways, there's no time to gawk with it though, cause we gotta turn it into bread. All you gotta do to do that, is you gotta cut a little cross into the dough and then start putting it into a 220 degree oven for about 25 minutes. For any Persona fans that are watching, you just need to be careful to not burn your bread. After enough time has passed to recover from that horrific joke, we got some. It didn't raise as much as I hoped it would, but this bread tastes pretty good, so we're gonna work with this. And if you want, take a look at this cross section. Nice. Anyways, let's get this bread and cut yourself off just a large strip of yours if it didn't raise cry like it should have, a bit like mine. Half it up, and now we got the beginnings to this edible device. Currently making up 40 points of HP. But we still got 80 to go, so let's add 20 with some ham. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any bologna, but it doesn't matter because we're topping off this Russian beauty with 20 HP worth of cheese, along with some tomatoes and lettuce. Top that boy up and then body shot it with an olive skewer. These are much harder to put on than you'd originally think, but once you do, boom, the sandwich. Honest to god, this is totally something that you should make at home. It's not too complex and it tastes pretty good, so you know, pack it in the lunchbox and have it the next time you push in the car on bad water. Hey there, thanks for like watching this video, it's like the first one I've ever done, and like, I actually have no idea how it came out, so please tell me in the comments any like criticism you have, because I want this to not be like trash. <laughs> Anyways, uh, something I thought I might do is I might just like, you know, s just tell you guys about some other YouTubers I've been watching. Some people I feel like deserve a lot more recognition than they've been getting. So, one of those people I think is a guy called Sirius Martin. You've probably like, seen one of his videos before if you're any active at all on a Team Fortress community. I managed to get into like, one of the games with him, he's such a nice guy, he really like, helps out the community a lot. It's honestly somebody I think a lot of people should just be like, watching more of. And other than that, there's another guy which I don't think many people have even heard of. It's a bloke called Big B the Fluffy Redneck. He makes some commentary videos, you know, he's a bit he's a bit more obscure, he's a bit more experimental and different, but he's got a killer voice. And I think a lot of people should just check him out, you know, give him a try, see what they think. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's the video. Tell me what you thought. Cheers.